today is the big reveal of mine and Dad's project. We couldn't wait to start this. Again, like with the Wheezy clock, I've always wanted a broom and yeah, um, I'm really excited to show you the process on how this was made. I haven't actually created a thumbnail for this yet. I hope I've done the broom justice in the thumbnail, but I'm just so excited to show you how we made it. So if you want to see how I made this broom or dad made this broom, I did help quite a lot though, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you've seen my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter, this is the place for you. Hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you. <laughs> Massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running just that little bit more. If you'd like to know anything about Patreon, it's linked in the description of this video along with my social medias. Go see what I'm up to on those. Just quickly guys, the right, the beginning section of this video, I lost the footage. I am absolutely gutted. You've not missed much and I'm gonna quickly tell you what bit has been cut, but the reason why I'm so gutted is because it was quite a good beginning and I'm absolutely gutted. But let me tell you the only thing that you've missed. So we had obviously the branch, I showed the branch. Then I showed us stripping the bark off the branch. And then to make the handle, we had to sort of chisel away some of the wood at the top where the handle was gonna be, that's it. That's all you missed. So what you're going to see to start with is just us sanding it down to make it smooth because we've obviously stripped the bark and chiseled away at the handle to make a kind of shape on the handle. But that's all you've missed. But yeah, enjoy us seeing us create this magical creation and then I'll be back with you at the end.
Okay, so we're still waiting for that first side of varnish to dry. Um, I'm so excited about this broom, it's looking cool. It needs cutting down a little bit more, it's still a bit too long, because obviously when the bristles, besom, I think that's how you pronounce it, when that goes on, obviously um, it will be longer. So we're gonna have to sort of figure it all out. But yeah, it's, um, it's coming along nicely. So once we've cut it down to size as well, Dad is saying he's gonna drill in sort of here so that um, we can get some of the besom in the middle otherwise when we surround the uh, branch we're gonna have we're, we're bothered about having a piece in the middle with nothing there so yeah we're gonna have to do something but we've got some wood glue but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but yeah it's looking really cool so far and there's the lightning bolt obviously there's one the other side we're gonna fill that with gold leaf um, but we're just going to get this varnished first on the other side. I'll do that off camera and then yeah when we've put the gold leaf on we'll just varnish over the gold leaf as well. Okay guys so we're going to start with the gold leaf and make these pop on either side. I've never used this stuff before. It's, it's so cool though and it's literally so light I really like it oh god it sticks to you oh Jesus oh dear oh dear it really sticks to you but yeah we're gonna get this all in here I've never used it before so I don't know what I'm doing so this part of the video might be a bit of a mess but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Mod Podge just on half and then see how we get on let's do this Just about finished the first half. I really love this gold, it's so cool. It's very fiddly, it's very flaky, and I just need to sort the edges out a little bit. But I definitely think this is gonna look really cool. So yeah, I just need to, literally, I'm just getting it with my tweezers, sticking it on, and then shaping it in. But like I said, I just need to sort the edges out a little bit. So I'm just getting the tweezers, and I'm poking it just to sort of make it as straight as I possibly can. But yeah, it's looking all right. Okay, so I'm now gonna Mod Podge over it just to seal it. And then when that's dry, I need to get onto the other side. I really love how it looks. It really pops now, that lightning bolt. Oh, I love it. Right, so that side is all sealed in. It looks cool. And this side I have just mod podged over the whole lot just to seal that so the flakes don't fall off any loose flakes um, but obviously it dries clear like this side so yeah I love the handle it's looking good so now we need to cut some of the length off because as you can see it's like nearly my height and with the bristles it's going to be like huge it's going to be up here somewhere so we kind of need to cut a bit off but oh i'm so excited guys i'm going to be flying over hogwarts okay so the broom was still a little bit too long so obviously as you've seen we've just took some off now we're gonna go, we'll obviously show you the process of what we're doing, but we're gonna drill a hole in the center because we're worried that when we put by some round the broom, we're gonna have a hollow bit in the middle. So we're gonna drill a hole into it and stick glue some of the besom with wood glue inside, if that made any sense, but we'll show you what we're doing anyway. fit in the best it's like a puzzle and then we're just gonna 
glue them all in with wood glue. This is just temporary to keep them still. We're just putting, what is it called? Cable tie. Cable, cable tie. We're just putting a cable tie around uh, just to um, keep them together while we glue them in. Stops them falling out and then we'll snip it off. dry in there now guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use cable ties again and put best them around it the cable ties again are just temporary um but yeah that's the next step get the best them around it but yeah it's a very large broom dad said it's a bus he said i'm gonna be um picking people up in villages because it's big enough for more than one person on here but yeah, we'll show you how we do this. Yeah, just nice and loosely. And then guys, once we've threaded them in, we can just pull it tight. My neighbour's working next door. That's probably what you can hear a saw. And this is looking amazing. Okay, so I'm at the wrong angle, but you can just see that the besom is just a bit too long. So I have some little shears here, and I'm just going to trim not too much off, uh, but just to sort of tidy it up and just make it a little bit shorter. Oh, it looks so cool! And then we need to find something to do. Okay, so Mooney's ones. <coughs> Bless him. I've been messaging him and he mentioned craft wire because we don't know how we're going to do a gold ring so I'm going to go get my gold craft wire soon and we're going to give that a go and hopefully it works but thanks again Mooney's ones you're an absolute star but first things first I'm going to trim this down Have a go. Say hi. <laughs> Yay! So we'll just trim it, tidy it up. But yeah, that looks loads yeah, better. Yeah, Done that look better, Dad. Yeah. Yes. You said not to trim it in the end. What do you mean you knew it would look good? <laughs> Right guys, we don't take the cable ties off because they are holding this on and I have some craft wire but I thought if we do twine, um, so all I've done is wrapped twine around the cable ties just so we can hide them but I think it gives it a real, real natural look. Yeah, I do like that. So obviously I now need to put twine, just keep wrapping it around this one so then this one's covered and then I think I'm going to put some of this over the top. Because obviously we've got our gold lightning bolt up here, I just want to have a bit of gold down here just to kind of balance it out. Oh, wish me luck. Okay, so the twine's on, the cable ties are covered. That's looking more natural now. Um, yeah, I kind of want to wrap some of this gold round. 
I'm literally just gonna do the same process, guys. I'm just gonna literally just wrap the gold wire around and try and just cover most of the twine if I've got enough of this stuff. Um, yeah. But yeah, look at it. Looks so good. Okay, so Matt helped me wrap this round. And what he did was, when we cut it off, he's just sort of looped it a bit and stuck it inside the twigs. But yeah, we've got, that looks really cool. See how I just need to do it. On the other bit, you have, why are you sat down? Come on, I've got another one to do. I'll work you hard. properly I'm so sorry um, but I love the lightning bolt on the handle I love the shape I picked a good branch no trees were harmed in making of this by the way it was a branch we found on the floor and then yeah I just love the design I love how natural it looks as well oh is it look look love it you can't see they go I love it but we've had so much fun making this there are going to be photos on my Instagram um Definitely gonna have fun creating photos with this. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely go give me a follow and just wait for some beautiful photos. But in the meantime, go see what beautiful photos I've done before. But yeah, now this project's out the way with, we are planning a big one. Obviously we did a big one this year. We did the Weasley clock. Um, we have another big one coming next year, which I'm so excited about and I can't wait to show you guys. I don't think I've, I mean, the Weasley clock I have seen done before, but literally a, it's a rare thing to find because um, I don't think many people have made it. But this one that we want to make next year, I don't think I've seen anybody make this. There probably is somebody that's done it, but I haven't. Maybe I should go look. But as of this moment in time, I haven't seen anyone make it. But no, anyway, today's about the broom. I've got a broom. I can go play Quidditch. And I'm so excited. But yeah, guys, what do you think to my broom? Let me know in the comments. Look at it. Oh, you can see the lightning bolt a bit better over here. Oh, it's just so cool. I'm so excited. I got so tearful when it had finished. I was like, oh, I finally have a broom. This video, though, has been long enough, guys. I won't keep you anymore. But please give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it helps me more than you know. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Pop Bits.